Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today Apple has released iOS 15.3 to the public after going through two beta stages and of course the RC version. Now, even though it's a 0.3 update, it actually doesn't have that much of new features, but it has some very minor changes and of course fixes that are actually very, very important. So in this video, we're going to take a look at this update and see everything that's new with iOS 15.3. First of all, talking about the size, if you're on iOS 15.3 beta and you update to iOS 15.3, the size will be quite big. It will probably be more than 5 gigs. Now, if you have iOS 15.2.1 or 15.2, you actually won't get that big of an update. And if you have the RC version installed on your device of iOS 15.3, you won't actually get an update at all because that's the exact same build number, same everything that you have on your device. So it's basically the same update. You just got it a few days earlier. Now, the build number for iOS 15.3 is 19D. 49 this is the new build number for ios 15.3 now of course if you want to update the easiest way always go to general go to software update make sure you have here everything turned on it will be updated automatically or you can go ahead and manually update to ios 15.3 now if you have ios 15.3 beta installed on your device beta 1 or beta 2 and you want to update to the public version make sure you go ahead and go to vpn and device management and remove the beta profile from your device that way then you will be able to update to ios 15.3 and again if you have ios 15.3 rc version installed on your device then basically you have the public versions as the exact same one and you don't have to update at all and of course you won't even get an update on your device. Now let's talk about the new features and changes of iOS 15.3. There are actually not that many and there are just a few very, very minor changes that you will find on iOS 15.3. And we'll find a change right here when you go to legacy contacts on your iCloud account at the top of your settings app. Now basically what has changed here is the wording, the explanation right here. It says legacy contacts can access and download the data stored on your account after your death. And right here it will also tell you that when a friend or family member adds you as a legacy contact they will actually show up here that's the minor change that you will get on the legacy contact section on the settings app and if you have apple podcasts when you go to your library right here and you go to your latest episodes if you have watched everything if you have actually listened to everything it will show here all caught up instead of no latest episodes that's another change right here on the podcast app now when it comes to features and changes these are the only two features and changes that we have been able to find with iOS 15.3. As I said, even though it's a 0.3 update, this is quite minor and only fixes bugs that are actually very, very important. We're going to talk about in a second and hopefully with the new iOS 15.4, for which we're going to talk about in just a few seconds, that should be an update that will come probably with way more features. We're going to talk about that later on. So first of all, let's just talk about some really, really important bug fixes that iOS 15.3 will bring to your device. And one of them really important is on Safari. So basically what iOS 15.3 will fix is a bug on Safari that will give websites access to your browsing history and Google ID data. Now here we have an article from 9to5Mac and basically everything here is explained and this is a really dangerous bug that has been able to be fixed with iOS 15.3 and also Mac OS 12.2 those two versions will basically fix this which is really really important and quite risky so basically what this will do will just allow websites to use an exploit found on index db to basically have access to urls that you have recently visited and also users google id and that is of course really risky so if you just want to fix that make sure that you immediately update to ios 15.3 Another bug that has been fixed is a bug that a lot of people have been experiencing with the music app draining battery that has actually been fixed on iOS 15.3 and another bug that has actually been around since the release of iOS 15 and it has bothered a lot of people is a storage bug. I've seen reports for a lot of people that iOS 15.3 did fix this bug for them. A lot of people say it didn't but 
So basically, when you go to general and you go to iPhone storage right here, you won't see actually the accurate representation right there of the data that are being taken on your device by different apps and different data that you have on your device. So if you had that problem, make sure you update to iOS 15.3 and see if this will fix. For me, it looks, everything looks okay. Of course, everything looks how it should be. And it represents basically very accurately the data, the storage that I have on my device. But a lot of people are reporting basically having this problem where it doesn't show the exact data and of course the exact amount of storage the data are taking on their device hopefully this will be fixed for you if you had that problem update and make sure to check that out and see if it has been fixed or not let's move on and talk about performance on ios 15.3 now i have ios 15.3 on my device since beta 1 and i didn't have no problem whatsoever very very stable and of course really fast now taking a look here at geekbench and the scores that we got from ios 15.3 we can see basically around the same numbers as we have seen on all the previous ios 15 versions so you can see right here we have two of the latest one 15.2 so we have 1606 right there we have 1610 right here with ios 15.3 just a slight improvement there but we have like 4235 on the multi-core score while we had a slightly higher score on the multi-core score here with 15.2 but nothing that you will actually notice it actually performs really really well as it should because ios 15.3 is built to actually be more stable have more bugs fixes and all that so you can expect that good performance from ios 15.3 moving on to battery now battery as well just like performance it has been quite stable and of course quite good since the release of ios 15 i didn't have any major problems at all and i had the basic same experience with ios 15.3 as well nothing like crazy good but it also hasn't been that bad at all and we had quite a good performance on battery and also on overall performance on ios 15.3 so if you're worried about performance and battery you shouldn't make sure you go ahead and update as soon as you can Let's move on and talk about iOS 15.4. That update should also come really, really soon. Of course, on beta one, it should be around next week when Apple probably will release the first beta of iOS 15.4. And then of course, in the spring, Apple will hold an event and around that date, maybe on that exact date, we will also have iOS 15.4 being released to the public. But you can expect beta one as soon as next week. And that should bring a lot of new features hopefully because ios 15.3 as we have seen it didn't have any new features just a few smaller changes and of course all the very important bug fixes which you should consider of course updating immediately the ios 15.3 because that's really important for the security of your personal data now should you update or not as i said immediately go ahead and update to ios 15.3 because the safari bug is very serious and you should have that fixed on your device so that's basically it for this video guys thank you for watching go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one